It's not very place that these skylines do. So I was looking over the patch notes today. Uh, looks like they got rid of the um, Spaz Electronics ad. Uh, they also fixed the issue where the uh, commercial areas would never have enough customers. So we'll see what effect that has on my city as it loads. Okay, cool. So, um, uh, one of the things I forgot to do is take a look at what I got with uh, this new milestone here. We've got high density, okay, and then high speed highways, remove high speed limits. <laughs> uh, we can take a look at those things later. All right, so we've got tons of office demand, um, tons of commercial demand, we've got um, residential. Uh, we've also now got money. Um, <laughs> let's see. And some more permits here. Let's get... Alright, I think what I want to do is come over here. Up here, I want to do some industry. Not industry, um, like uh, farming and stuff or whatever. And then um, we get these guys to get the road across. <laughs> Maybe do a, uh, um, or do I want to come up this way a little bit tighter? Maybe. Okay. Yeah, we still got plenty of money, so no big deal. We'll figure it out later. Um, and I should also expand up here. And I don't have any more permits, so <coughs> hopefully those were good choices. All right. Um, what were we doing here? I think here we had some residential. Okay. So let's come down in here. I'm going to lower the volume on my headphones. There we go. Okay. And then just take a quick look at what I can buy with my points. There's a grand bridge. Automated parking, underground parking, that may be useful eventually. Um, types of power plants, advanced water pumping station, uh, crematorium, incinerator plant, recycling center. I've heard there were some bugs related to these things, but I wonder if they've been, I didn't see anything in the patch notes, but maybe they've been taken care of, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I like the ground pollution thing lowered. That seems useful. All right. Maybe I want to go with tourist attractions. Seems interesting. All right. Um, so we're making some money. So let's unfreeze time. Let's head over here. Let's see if we switch over to these guys. Looks like there's fertile land there and there. Okay, so this must be, this is coal, I think. Yeah, so these are ore deposits and it's oil over there. Okay, so, don't. Um, 
some of it here, but I've got what? I've got some industrial there, but you know. Mayhaps it doesn't matter. Alright, um. Let's see. And back here, I can make some livestock farming. Alright, let's do at least a livestock farm here. So we're gonna take this small road. Bring it out. Alright. And then we'll grab farm. Got quite a radius there. Alright. Put them this. Get a gravel road coming up to them. That takes care of that. Alright, so now go back to their zoning. sure if the more land they have the more chickens they can grow or whatever but and one big farm here lots of buildings I wonder if that's a change from when um city planner plays the game. One of his complaints is that there weren't quite enough buildings. Alright, that's good enough, I think. Okay, so that takes care of that. And I'm gonna say, let's go. I'm gonna go up this way. Oops, that was the wrong road. Hmm. Folks that live near the farmer. Made even be like a door here, maybe it tells to the farmer. Office building that wanted like a a little um, more of a rural presence here. Potential. That brings more people in. Right. Cool. All right. Now coming down here to where we're kind of looking to make our new industrial corridor. Um, I think what I want to do help with shipping and so forth. Do another cargo port here. May put us in the red, but we'll see. This guy, like, right there. Tracks. Okay. 
That's all they need. Okay. Still making money. I believe these guys will need... Cargo... Line. The line from here. There. And back. We must have one on this side too. Road. Airport. Airport. Oh, I guess the train didn't go. Oh, it goes this way into the mountains. F's off, I guess. Oh, it just, like, dead ends there. Okay. Well. Get back to over here. And these guys actually might want to ship their stuff right onto the highway instead of going all the way back over here and then over there and all the way around. That seems a bit nonsensical, if you ask me. So, <coughs> let's grab a large road. Doop, doop, doop. All right, so first of all, let's create... Let's go up, go over. Not high enough? We go over everything. Back to level. All right, and we will take care of that momentarily. But let's go ahead and. You're tuned in to the second moon, the channel where the classics never grow old. All right. A housing shortage is driving up prices in the area. That's right, Glenda. All right. Apparently, so now let's go over here. News. We're joined today by an expert guest, Professor Nutbutter. Welcome, Professor. So a housing shortage is bad for the people right. trying to move here, right? Humans are programmed to desire certain representations within ideological reward structures, which are entirely... Right, so it can't work that way. It's okay. Enjoyed. For example, consider capital. One, right, one final question, Professor. Is the housing shortage going to make me richer? By certain metrics, perhaps, yes. Oh, in the short maybe word. that's the problem. Like the it come up here. What we are discussing is the study of a statistical abstraction and its effect on the human Thank psyche. you, Professor. There we go. We can turn off that way and go there. Industry in the region is on the rise, and when business is doing well, that floats our boat. There's no sinking Here. This boat, Glenda. Here the king. Here. Okay, so this is a two-lane road. You can come from the right turn and keep going that way. You can go left. Okay, if they're on the highway and they want to get off, um, let's see. Now, why not have them try and meet up here? Let's okay, start from here. Can we? Excellent. I think that actually go. Okay, it does. Okay. And then going this way. If you're going this way, I think we'll just have you lit off here. And. see have you come oh, let's go back to this road here first we'll have him go this way this way so now go back to the highway the highway go like that cool except right next to another intersection so let's not do it like that actually do Uh, let's 
go... Maybe there. There we go. Okay. So now... If you're coming this way on the highway, you can get off. Go there. Get on. If you're going that way, you can get on either way. Go either direction. Get off in either direction. Uh, we do have two... I don't like all these little intersections here, but it's probably okay. Alright, so... Right here. <coughs> and... This side. Uh, add this. And once again, we're gonna go over everything. There you go. Meet up there. Perfect. Cool. So we're not having to wait for... Uh, we're not interrupting the highway. We're not having to wait for the trains. Um, now let's go down to, to a medium road. So, you know, got industry here. They got stuff to do. They're building stuff. All right. Um, they want to come... Hey, could it go underneath? Guess it. I guess it can't, unless we go at an angle. Man, we'll go at an angle. All right, so now let's zone some more industrial here. Okay. That's doing its thing. Here, I come up with a divided road like this. That. Let this be zoned as office space. It says that's bad for office, but so it is. All right, so now let's head back oh, this way. <coughs> All right. Here. Do we have? Try and do some higher offices. Let's see here in here. yeah these are not all the same size so that's pretty cool all right so that's thing we also have some need for um row home so we'll throw them here along the street And, oh yeah, right, I wanted to check internet access, like, back here. Got this nice hill. Castle ruins. Alright, um. If I was to go to internet access. Okay, cool, this gives, like, the whole place... Access. We're still making, in fact, we're making tons of money. Okay. Um. Might legit need customers at this point. Um. Electronics. Okay. Um. No, 
not sure what I can do for them at the moment, so we'll just let them be. Um, let's head over here. Oh, let's see what people are tripping about. Any free time, leisure opportunities, this internet connection. Okay. Mostly they just need more workers. <coughs> um. Right, we can definitely add some along here. But we read out these roads before. Wrong road. Liking this area, there's come in over here. We still have industrial. <coughs> Most important thing is you need to get their goods market, be getting them the highway. So with the uh, beam roads at a minimum. Follow along. Or not. So we don't want to any more intersections that's been shown to cause quite a bit of traffic. Just get all this industrialized. All right. That's used up all the demand, so we're good there. Um, back over here, take care of some of our medium and over in Old Town. Oh, let's see how the school's doing. My school's okay. Elementary is okay. Alright. Closer here. Got the houses. So, let's see. Got row homes on the back. Go ahead and make these go homes then. I think that's a little more consistent. And do like from here, here, maybe there, just to make sure we get the correct street. Go ahead and bulldoze those. The row homes come back in. All right, we've got the Vista building. Let's buy some issues with windows. Uh -huh. <coughs> now that those are all 
coming in. Add this back. Okay. Um, and we have a whole bunch of commercials. That. Oh no! Driving advisory has been issued yes. for the immediate area due to poor that. road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public service. Now we're gonna head over. This is here. Second Moon Radio Classical for the modern age. Unlike most modern music, classical has always been penned by someone sitting in front of a sheet of blank paper, using only their imaginations as guides through a silent audio masterpiece. Now, here we sit, listening at full volume, and our souls are transported. Hmm. But let us not tarry. On to the next episode. And on to our main feature story. The commercial district is booming as the area is attracting... There might be some apartments here, maybe. ...bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. You can now shop for designer shoes while sipping a fancy local Jarva Mate. Or so my wife tells me. That's good for business and good for the community. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after this. Yeah, cool. Still making money. Interesting news from the city's export division. Sources tell us that our city has more services than we know what to do with. And you know what that means, folks. It means we're not cutting things close enough. Well, no. The point is we're selling it and bringing money into local That's economy. right. You could almost say it's too much of a good thing. Or we could say that we're enjoying a positive trade balance and the economy is booming. More after this. All right. All right, so again, I think at the university here, I have some row houses, I'll go ahead and just Dump that in like that. Um, have some commercials. Here. Some offices. All right, and the rest we in with family homes. All right, we'll let those come in. All right, so well, that's oh yeah, I wanted to take a look at some uh, fertile ground, but actually, I'm just gonna let that go for now because take a look at. at what we're doing um frame lines I think based on what I saw I were to oh no, okay this one's already going through the middle because it's already a road with a median so that's that's good wretched all right, um, not gonna worry too much about that then. Wealthy. So just one block makes a huge difference. Honest. And over here. Oh, some. Okay. Betty bait. Uh. <laughs> I 
Okay. Um, let's see. Yeah, I guess I'll I'll just take a few minutes to take a look at the stuff going on here. Alright, so road wise. Our roads are in good condition. Good parking. Traffic needs work. So, yes, let's go to old old town and see what we can do. Ah, so we've got poor movement here through the highway. Ah, I see. This is backing up because of a situation we've seen quite a few places already. Where we're connecting stuff and that's causing issues. So, so we've got this. Be we've got a lot of people merging onto one highway here, which is then um, got all these people waiting to cross as well. Okay, well. We've done the fix here. We know what the fix is. Let's go ahead and do that. See if that improves the situation. So going back to traffic is like red and orange, right? We've got a lot of problems here. Go ahead and pause. So the sims, so we don't keep getting more and more sims like losing their way like these cars are about to be. All right. So. Rid of that. <laughs> and then see if we can't give them a road without actually connecting. Well, they may have to be out of luck. So when we go to here. Okay, that does take care of the situation for them. Um, so now, let's go ahead and take care of our flows in our different direction. So, I want to be able to... Actually, I think this would be a perfect place for a roundabout, so I think this medium road. Go here. Large roundabout. Okay. Um, and so... Now, we could have an off-ramp to the roundabout. Oh my god, that is not what I wanted. Alright, maybe we just need to Let's see. I think to keep the roundabout, I need to have another piece of highway going this way. All right. Roundabout. Cool. All right, so now I bring this guy there. He goes into the roundabout. Um, roundabout can also have an exit that way. Why did that kill my roundabout? There we go. Um, that takes care of um, getting on and off that side. Then I guess let's handle getting on. I'm gonna cut around. Go up. Okay. 
Okay, so that's getting onto the highway. Now, if these people wanted to get off the highway, I think we will maybe just do it from further back. I guess it depends what side of the highway they want to be on, right? It's all said and done. Okay. Well, okay, well, you know what? I'm just going to connect this guy here. But then what I'm going to do is actually just get rid of these guys here. And see if I can go over the highway. Can still get to where we need to get to. Now let's, re now let's run things. Go to traffic. Give this a second to clear potentially. takes to update. <coughs> I know. Successful or not. Seems like I know it was, at least for Cozy Street. A ton of people coming up over here. Let's see. We've still potentially got much going on here. This may be an accident. Let's go. That might be help. That might help. Let's see. It's still marking this one is kind of busy, but this one for some reason, even though I don't see any cars here, I don't know how long it takes the highway, to, I mean the um, sim to clear itself. But maybe since we're doing all this merging here, it's worth it to replacement a two lane. No, I mean a three lane. There we go. That might help a bit. Alright. I think that's good for now. This has been Eric Plain City Skylines 2. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.